everybody welcome or welcome back this week i'm gonna be filming another weekly reading vlog situation but i have been in the mood to do something recently so i thought this week i would base the video kind of around that i really really felt an urge to reread some of my favorite books so i thought it'd be fun pick some of my five star reads from over the past like I don't know when I start reading this time, kind of this time last summer, not last summer, the summer before, about two years. So pick some of my five star reads over the last two years and read them. I guess see if they're still five stars. Some of the books I'm pretty sure won't. I wouldn't rate five star now. So behind me, <laughs> which I was hiding, I have every single book I have rated five stars over the last two years, minus one. I think it's called Drive. I forget the author's name. I read it on my Kindle and I meant to buy a physical copy and I just never ended up doing it. So of course, Mr. Fury, the second book in the Akatar series. Um, two books from the Throne of Glass series, Queen of Shadows and Kingdom of Ash. Harcher's Voice by Nia Sheridan. Ghosted by J.M. Darhauer. Beach Read by Emily Henry, Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. I do kind of consider Binding 13 and Keeping 13 five stars as well, but at the time of reading them, I didn't rate them five stars, so I just didn't want to include it in this big stack. Um, The Roommate with Rosie Dannon, The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez, Curse of the Wolf King by Tassandra Odette, Magnolia Parks, and Magnolia Parks on Way Home by Jess Hastings, um, Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score, Consider Me by Becca Mack, Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood, Fourth Wing and I'm Flame by Rebecca Yaros, Funny Story by Emma, he Emma Henry, Emily Henry, and then Not In Love by um, Ali Hazelwood again. This is a bit overwhelming. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go into this stack and take out all of the books that either like parts of, like further into series or parts of series I know I'm not gonna read or that like I've read recently or maybe I reread it recently just anything that I'm I know I'm not gonna pick I'm gonna take that out now the little baby stack we're left with so fourth wing things you never got over consider me artist voice ghosted the roommate happy ever after playlist and curse of the wolf king all of these are books I read quite a while ago or most of them I don't really remember some of them some of them I'm really not sure if I think would be five stars anymore specifically Curse of the Wolf King, Ghosted, Roommate, Arch's Voice, all these I'm just not sure about. Um, things we've, to be honest, I'm not sure about any of them except Fourth Wing. I feel confident in Fourth Wing. But then again, do I? I don't know. I'm not going to read all of these, obviously. I'll probably end up reading two or three, four at a stretch, but more like two or three. Probably read one on an audiobook, but I've run out of audiobook credits already in like two days. So we have to pick a book start with i know which one i want to read i want to read fourth wing la, la, la. i've been wanting to do a reread of fourth wing for quite a while but i feel like i should wait a little bit until it's closer to when the next book's coming out because then i i would have to do a reread of fourth wing and iron flame anyway like just to remember what happened but I really want to read it like I really want to read it so I think I just am going to I don't know if I'm going to read this edition or I have this one which doesn't have like tabs and stuff in it so these might get annoying we'll see I might pick this one up I'll probably start in this and then pick this up if this is annoying me I think we're going to start with this which was my favorite book of last year so this should should hold up it is a longer book though it's like to choose but I didn't it didn't take me long to read when I first read it so here we go I'm gonna leave this stack here so I can look at it through the week and pick what I want to read next blah 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 I'm not sure the things that I'm being pulled to is Archer's voice because I was in kind of a bad mood when I read it but I rated it five star half because I felt like it was a five star and then half because I expected it to be I think so I do want to just like re get it and then ghosted, I barely remember anything about it. So I kind of want to reread this. These ones, I'm not sure if they'd be a five star, but I'm just not as intrigued to read them. So yeah, we'll see. But right now it's for them. Okay, I've changed my mind about the whole um, not reading, not reading, not using audiobooks thing because 
I'm anxious and I need to go on a walk. So <laughs> I also need to start reading this. So I'm going to just listen to the audiobook on my walk. To be fair, I really like doing audiobook rereads. I'll probably read, physically read a lot of this as well, but I'm going to have to just purchase the audiobook. <laughs> so annoying, but I will be doing that. the thing that makes fourth wing so good everything is such fucking high stakes like <laughs> look at me like we literally just started and her sister's like never fucking take this vest off if you take this vest off someone's gonna kill you you keep this on you at all times you stay on high fucking alert because they can kill you whenever they want to there's like no rules it is literally like the wild west <laughs> I'm already eating it up. I don't think I've even passed one chapter yet, but it's just so good. Okay, hello besties. Um, I'm actually on like, I've got this in at chapter nine, but I'm on like chapter 12 now. I've been listening. I know, I need to read. I'm going to get in bed and I'm going to like physically read it. But I've just been in my um, scrapbook journaling era and I got inspired to make a fourth wing page. So that's what I've been doing all evening. How cute. Maybe I'll show you again in the morning. Well, insert a clip from the morning because the lighting's really bad. But I love it. <laughs> I just have so much fun. And it's so satisfying flicking through and all the pages are like the same but different. <laughs> love. Um, but yeah, done that. Really, really enjoying the book, obviously. What are we... What did we expect? I am at the point where they're, oh, what's it called? They've just done the gauntlet. Um, and now they're like walking through the dragons, whatever that's called when they're like, the dragons are seeing them for the first time. So we are making our way through the story. One thing that I remember about um, reading it the first time and I like feel it again now is that it feels like so much happens but like it doesn't feel rushed it just it like shocks me how much I feel like I've story I've got compared to how many pages I've read like it's like I'm probably like 100 to 150 pages in right now and I feel like I've had so much story but I mean that in like only a positive way it's not like overcramped or anything I remember thinking that the first time I was like I feel like this is like two books worth of stuff but it's only like 500 pages I don't understand how she's done that um and it doesn't feel rushed I, I don't get it but whatever exciting news is that I'm using my portrait poets department little um bookmark so this is the this is the albatross one I haven't gotten to use this yet because I don't want to use it with a paperback because it's kind of heavy and I feel like I just feel better putting it in a hardback like a little bit sturdier. The hardbacks that I've read since I've had it haven't really gone but this matches the vibe so very exciting. Um, I'm gonna go to bed now probably gonna keep reading for a little bit not too long though oh my god can you hear the rain it's crazy. Keep reading for a little bit but not too long and then we will get back to it tomorrow. Okay bye bye. Two past my day. I can't talk English. I can't do it. I'm, ooh, I'm nearly 300 pages through whole thing, so I'm over halfway through, which is great. Still going back and forth between the physical book and the audiobook. I've read a lot of the physical book though. I read a lot this morning and a lot last night, which is good and nice. 
having a fantastic time as we can imagine i'm really not really anything to, else to say other than that if you've read it you've read it you know what's happening and it's fantastic and i like it just as much as i did the first time although i just read um violet and zayden's first like scene kissing um and i just remembered how shocked i was when i read it the first time that he like kissed her in that moment i was like oh my god I did not expect him to break down so quickly, but alas, I was showing you yesterday that I have this other copy, um, I don't know, I think it's just the Waterstones Special Edition, and I remembered that it has two extra chapters from Zayden's point of view in it, I believe it's chapter 9 and chapter 16, I haven't read them yet, chapter 9, chapter 16 yeah and i've never read these because i don't know i just didn't the chapter 9 was when they had their little fight you know in the training room and then chapter 16 is after the freshing i think i need to take this off i'm sorry i can't do it <laughs> i was like i can i can leave the thing on for two chapters i can't i actually unfortunately can't <laughs> have like 30 pages left so if you know you know Hello, I just finished fourth wing and just as good as I remember, if not better. I want to reread it again already. Like, there's not many books that I'll finish and be like, I could start that again and like still be excited about it. Um, but I felt that way the first time, I felt that way this time. I really actually want to read Iron Flame now, and technically, it was a five star for me. I know, controversial, but I liked it. I'm not going to do that because that's not that's not the vibe we're on but if I still feel like reading that in like a week maybe I will have to but, um so yeah fantastic if you haven't read fourth wing what are you doing go read it stop being ridiculous next I'm thinking Archer's voice because I read this, this is one of, not not a recent five star, but out of the ones that I have selected, a more recent one. And I wasn't in the best mood when I read it. So I don't think it actually really felt like a five star, but I gave it a five star for some reason. Or maybe it did feel like a five star. I think I expected it to be a five star and it like pretty, it, it was good. So I was like, okay, sure. I don't know. But I just felt like I need to reread it to check. You know what I mean? Mm. Good morning. Good morning. The time is 9.10 a.m. Have a good one. Oh, my last draw. Oh, my last draw with you. I read like 50 pages of Archer's Voice last night and then read another 100 this morning. Um, we're only just kind of getting into like Bree and Archer kind of like being friendly and talking, which is nice. Like I really enjoy the scenes when they're together. But other than that, I am kind of like skimming parts of it. Um. It hasn't like hooked me considering it's a five star.
it should I should just be like wow this is amazing um so I'm hoping that we're gonna get more of that as we go and maybe it'll redeem itself it's just maybe a slower start but so far it's fine but it's not like really like, exciting me but I do really love seeing um the moments with Archer and Brie I really do enjoy that and I really love Archer I really love Brie so that's how I'm feeling so far I'm gonna try and read as much as I can today like I would really really love if I could even finish today oh apparently there's a red arrows display today <laughs> I'll have to keep my eyes peeled it's about 380 pages so I have about 280 pages I think to go I could potentially if I just like read it and I probably will skim certain sections because I just don't care that much about like seeing Brie and like Travis and like Brie and the two girls that she's friends with I just like I'd rather just like get to the parts of Archer but that's fine it'll be a nice day today we haven't had that much sun in July but I think today's going to be warm and tomorrow's going to be warm so hopefully I can sit outside and read a lot more although I have been reading a lot anyway yeah that's Pam okay hello it is like quarter past six now so I haven't updated all day but I have been reading all day now on roughly chapter 26 well I don't know why I said I'm on chapter 26 I'm definitely like into it now enjoying it having a good time I think like the best part of the book is obviously like the relationship the dynamic the deepness of their relationship there's like no doubt that this is like a soulmate vibe kind of book if you like that if you like um like i can't live without you kind of vibes this is a great one but i i'm not feeling five star vibes i'm not gonna lie maybe it'll pull it out in the last 100 pages but i don't know i'm not feeling five star vibes like it's really good but it's not it's not that there's so many great parts but it's almost like i i almost like more kind of put this in the category of like books that i like guilty pleasure love like really enjoy but it's not that good of a book you know what i mean like i don't know like there's some like great quotes and some so many really great moments like i love brie and i love arch i love their dynamic and it's such an interesting concept. So I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna try and finish this off tonight. If I don't finish tonight, I'll finish in the morning and then we will move on to the last book. I don't know what I'm gonna pick yet, but it's how I feel right now. got up um i finished archer's voice basically last night i had like 10 20 pages left to read this morning in conclusion i think for me this is like a 4.5 i think this is a really really good book i as i said really love the characters i love the relationship it's very unique the relationship in that it is like number one soft boy which i don't feel like you get a lot of books where it's like that and also like trauma on 10 for both of the characters and like the relationship is to be honest like in a real life scenario it's like definitely unhealthy like you shouldn't rely on other people that much and like have so much of like your self-worth and happiness in other people like that but for a book yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it up every single time but you know we come to a conclusion in the end it's a you know it's fine everything's fine yeah i think it's great like i'm sat here as if like 4.5 isn't a good rating but obviously it's not a five star anymore which is i mean i'm not gonna like change the rating from the past but because that's obviously how i felt at the time but um i think part of why i originally rated it five star was because i was expecting it to be a five star and because everybody loved it and i read it in a 24 hour reading video i think i was a little bit just like happy that i was enjoying a book i don't know i don't know but yeah still fantastic 
one of the better standalone romances I've ever read but not quite a five star anymore which is a shame but that's the point of this video to try and figure out if I still feel how I felt about certain books um so we're gonna do one more book I think and I have this stack to go for sure not gonna do consider me or things we never got over because I just don't feel like reading this and also it's a little bit on the longer side and I feel like I will get bored so I'm just gonna not do that right now I also read the things we left behind kind of recently so I just I've been in that world recently I don't feel like being there right now um consider me I know that this is a still a five star I've read this like this is my book that when I want to read something but I don't want to pick up a book I can just like flick to a random chapter and read it so I've done lots of random rereading in this so I'm not going to do that so we have these this is really hard because my heart was initially saying ghosted but now I'm not completely sure about it but these aren't pulling me in either I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with ghosted it's crazy because they're all meant to be five stars so I'm like why do I not want to read them but maybe I'm just not in the mood for them and these were five this I I I really don't think would be a five star anymore and I'm not too sure about these two So there we go. Maybe I'll have to do a, a second video. Some of my other five stars. This is one of my like, first five five star ratings. I, I don't know if I would, if I read it now, I would have rated it the same way. I think I just was excited that I was enjoying a book. I don't think when I first started reading that like a lot of books really like jumped out at me because I, I don't think I really knew what genres I liked as much. Well, not genres i know what genre but like what type of books i liked as much i think i was reading a lot of really shitty shitty like kindle limited books so a good book would like be an amazing book but let's not talk down on it let's give it let's give it a try i also know that this is past and present tense which should hopefully help keep the pace of it up you know and keep me reading and keep me engaged we're gonna do this gonna try and read this as like I would love to get it done. I'm not going to get it done today. It's like 400 pages, but like early tomorrow would be amazing. Don't mind how I look. It's been like 27 degrees today, so I'm disgusting um but I have been reading all day like I said I would I am like I don't know if I'm nearly done probably like 100 pages from being done which is great I might actually finish this today which would be great really really having a great time um this is a super fun romance I feel like it's very one of the one of it one of a kind you know what I mean I feel like Archer's voice is similar um, I could probably pull out a few more, but like, this is a storyline that like, I, I've not really read before. One of Us is famous, single um, parent kind of, well, yeah, single parent, um, the deadbeat dad, <laughs> second chance romance, childhood lovers, um, all of these things. It's great, really like it. Um, like I said, past and present perspective, is it a five star? I don't know. Would I rate it a five star now? I don't know. But I'm having a good time. What else can we ask for? Try and finish it today because that would be amazing. If not, then it then not. If not, then not. I don't know if this is traditionally published or if this is an indie book. A scene in it when they went to a comic ooh, comic convention thing, which really reminded me of um, Addicted. Now I want to reread Addicted. Oh, look at my hair. It's been a day. Okay, gonna keep reading. Just finished Ghosted, which is 
crazy. It ended up um, only taking me the day to read it, which says a lot about the book, I think. It's like 440 pages, decent amount of words on each page. Like it's not like a short book in my opinion. Very, very easy read, super engaging. Another one of the books that I put in like a, maybe it's not the best book in the world, but it's like almost like reality TV. But this is like on the upper end of that. You know what I mean? This is like a real quality reality TV show. Um, yeah, I really, really liked it. I think if I read it now, probably a 4.5 to be fair, but I think I'm gonna give it a 4.75 on the reread just because I really did like it for, this hit a lot of like areas for me that like just personally I enjoy superhero movies, love the Marvel franchise. This kind of gives that um the whole dad daughter dynamic i always really enjoy in books this just hit a lot one of us is famous trope another one i love this just hit a lot of things for me which i really enjoy so success i mean not a five star but what can you do what can you do i've gotten pickier i think we can we can maybe acknowledge that um but that is going to be the conclusion of this video i I guess you could say it wasn't a success since out of the three five star books I read only one of them is remaining a five star but to be fair this I still consider a five star for nostalgic vibes I think I will reread this again um I probably will reread Archer's Voice again because it's a very sweet comfort read I'd probably read it in like autumn time I think um but fourth wing still reign supreme thank god thank god for that but yeah I had a great time really fun reading week I was in a little bit of a not reading slump but just like I didn't know what I was gonna read next that was a nice break I'm excited now to get back to some like new books that I haven't read before but I had a great time yeah that's gonna be it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very very much for watching please come back again that's about it